Well, hello and welcome to this episode of Adventure Bike Pilot. Today I'm down in the Hudson Bay Hotel in Athlone, right on the uh, the lake here. Uh, it's a beautiful hotel, although their check-in skills aren't very good. Nearly an hour and a half to get checked in and get the room. So uh, <laughs> I'm already in a bad mood. But anyway, what I'm down for here is, uh, as many of you may know, if you've been following the channel, um, most of my routes are usually built in and around doing what is called the Irish Photo Rally. And if you don't know what the Irish Photo Rally is, uh, I'll put up a, a link in the description. Um, it's basically a rally that's held every year where uh, they issue 24 points uh, dotted all around the country and you have about roughly about nine or ten months to get all of the points done. Uh, and you, ha you have to take a photograph of your motorbike at each of these individual points. You submit them then by the end of the deadline, which I think is November. Uh, and then uh, you get a, a, a commemorative badge for each of the years that you do. So I've done it twice uh, now. So uh, last year was my, my second year doing it. Um, for the last two to three years uh, during COVID, uh, they normally have an event at the end of the year. But because of COVID after the last two or three years, they've done those events virtually. So this is the first event that they've had back on site in person. Uh, so it's therefore it's the very first one I've ever attended. So I, I was curious and then a bunch of the guys from the club said that they were going to go down. So I took the opportunity um, to join them and come down and uh, and see what's involved in tonight. So I believe there's going to be a, bit of a ceremony or something. Then there's a dinner, uh, music um, and then I think that some other bits and bobs arranged. What I'll do is I'll bring the camera down and I'll try and capture some of the, some of the on video. Uh, I didn't bring Ellie, I didn't bring the bike with me on this trip. I came down in the car. Um, I, it looks like a lot of people brought their cars down on this trip. There's only a handful of bikes outside, but I'm curious to see what's going to happen now tonight. Um, so yeah, so that's that's the reason we're down here now is to, to, att to attend this event. Looking forward to catching up with the guys. And uh, yeah, we're here in the Hudson Bay Hotel. So as per the bike videos, I'll give you a scan around this room. So as you can see, and, uh, pretty I'm standard on. room. Got all my, brought all my tech with me from my camera. It's fine, because the hotel itself is absolutely huge. Huge leisure center and all on it. Uh, and I'm in what they call the uh, adult only section. There's no kids, which is a good thing because there's nothing but screaming kids out in the reception. Um, and then just a bog standard bog. Hello, folks. Um, so yeah, it's a it's a nice hotel. I don't know if I'd come here if I was uh, if it wasn't for the event. Let's get you down. Yeah, so I I don't know if I'd come here if I was uh, not attending the event. It's uh, it's uh, very uh, family focused. It's an awful lot of screaming kids running around uh, and the check-in so far i'm dreading checking out if that's what it's like checking in so uh but so yeah let's go and see what the uh, the night has in store for us and see how it goes so hopefully i'll talk to you later have fun I think it was a white place in the stadium because I planned to get punched in the face, so 
no plan to stand the battle. Okay, so um, that was Younger's participant, <coughs> sir. To now on to Mick Campbell for his 1931 Norton ES2. Oh, okay. I know he also had a. Uh, he went one point to carry on a 1921 Triumph Ricardo. to Charlie Carruthers yeah. on, the, on the C50. And I have to mention that uh, Jerry Christie also did uh, an entry on the Honda C50. Uh, he did 12 points. I think he had some mechanical trouble in uh, in Kilkenny, but uh, Charlie did all 24. He tips Jerry and gets the, gets the award. The Irish Boat Rally Award, and that goes to David, Olivia, and Jennifer Carrick. Anything here this evening? Okay, so in all their photos, you can see here, basically, they're all smiling, and you can just see the uh, doing poses at the, the points, and just, you can just see generally having crack, and basically, that's the, the Irish Boat Rally is all about. Next award is the Well Traveled Classic Award, and that's for the, this 1951 Vincent Connacht from. Peter Redmond. Is Peter here? Okay, so in this, the dog just picked out, so you can see on the uh, on the hangers there's a lot of stickers. The bike has obviously been around in different parts of it, even of the world, whatever, and some of the, in the, the other photos is very, uh, you can see the bike has been all over the place, so this is the kind of word. So is Peter here or somebody to collect it on his behalf? Okay, we're going to get through these very quickly if we keep going like this. So next one, I don't think he's going to be here, is Crossing the Pond Award, he came from the USA. Uh, now it's an Irish bike, so I don't know if he rent a bike or borrow a bike, but he's, he came from the USA, he has a, an American address. And that is Daniel Van Ham Cochet. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly. <laughs> Anybody know him? Because I do know him also, the people in the boat of the bike, so nobody here that travel with him or knows him. <laughs> Perfect. Okay, next is the first travel award, and that goes to Natalie Beltrando, who came from southern France, near uh, somewhere near Nice, and she rode all the way here. As you can see, the photo there, it's a French, uh, French on the French bike. So she and hence her being the, the furthest traveled compared to the, the previous award for you on an Irish bike. Uh, I don't suppose Natalie is here. Okay. I said this is going to go very quickly tonight. Uh, now we're up to the best night shop award, and that goes to Sir Helmine. <laughs> and the atmospheric photo award goes to John Coyle. John here, so again you can see it here. Doesn't come across as well on the uh, on the projector, but you can see you can see that it's a foggy morning, and as far as I know, that's looking east. So I think it is early in the morning, and the fog is just hasn't quite burned off yet. So very happy to spread photo. As I said, I don't think the projector does it uh, does it justice. Um, so is John here? Anybody who can take it on his behalf? Yeah. No. Okay. <clears throat> Next is the Crystal Clear Award. <laughs> That goes to Pierce Fitzsimmons for his photograph here in Tipperary. <laughs> and I can't remember somebody collected Pierce's badge on his behalf here, or so. Is, can they also collect? I don't think, or is he here himself? Or anyone who could take his award for him? Next is the Miles of Smiles Award. I'm going to apologize in advance for pronouncing the name. Faisia Shahin. Okay, she was, uh, I think she was paid in with Shahul Hamid. 
And in all of her um, photos, as you can see in this one, she's got a big smile on her face. And all of her photos, you can just see, looks really happy all the way through in, in, her, uh, in her entry. And that goes to Susan McBennett because in her album, in all her 24 photos, she had photos like this um, of David from behind, taken um, photos of him as he took his photos. So he managed, she managed to capture this all the time, and I'm not sure if he knew that himself or not. But so, as we all know, behind every good man is a good man. Stephen Ray. 
for a lovely set of photos. This is my favorite one out of the thousand years. This is really nice to take a photo of me. That looks like something you'd see in a Suzuki brochure. So I just, and again, all of these photos were very well important, and very well taken. Uh, is Stefan here, or anybody who knows Stefan? Okay, so a lot of posts to do. Okay, so last order of business is to announce the list for 2023. Okay, so I'll read it out because I don't know how easy it is to read there, particularly for the people who are watching online. So we've got the Own Carol Railway Viaduct Memorial, and I'm not going to read out the, the direction of the descriptions. Then Derry is Hegan Elementary School, Antrim is, I'm not sure how to pronounce this, it's Beardyville Arch, uh, Down Armagh is Tullymore Gate, uh, Calvin Monaghan is, again, I don't know, I'm not sure how to pronounce this, Crean Row Railway Station. Fermanna Tyrone is Parliament Crane. Uh, Longford Westmead is Temple Cross Chapel. Loudmead is Millicont Abbey Gatehouse. I know there was a little bit of uh, there was some guesswork going on yesterday when I saw the, the preview. Um, Dublin Kildare is the Sinking Pub. Wicklow is Roseborough House Gate. Wexford is the Dolls House. Carlo Kilkenny is Duckett's Grove, Gate Lodge. Leash Offley is a crane from 1840 in Shannon Bridge. Clare is the crane at the Rock Shop. Limerick is King John's Castle in Kilmallock, not the one in Limerick City. Uh, Tipperary is Kiltine Castle Gate. Waterford, again a crane, from 1890. Uh, Cork is Tower Lodge at Lizard Estate. Uh, Kerry is Crane on Sadie Pillar, sorry, Pier. Mayo is Glosh Tower, again that was another one's a bit of uh, debate about what it might be when they saw the preview. Um, Sligo is Carol Moore National School. Lake Drum is the Four Masters Bridge. I think it was Declan Break, I think possibly you gave me that one. Um, Ross Common is the Rockingham Gate Lodge. And Laura is the Bally Union Radio Station. That list is going to be available on the website from uh, midnight tonight. And we have uh, paper copies as well here for anyone here this evening who wants to take that away. Okay, thanks everybody for being here. And have rest of the evening.